I'm going to have access to Smith. You see, machine advanced. But those societies where uh, material, material things highly advanced, there are people uh, who are, uh, in fact, some in France, you see, very rich. I think uh, millionaire, if not billionaire. All the facilities there, including fame is also there. But as a person, very unhappy person. And uh, also in the society, even some young, young people, young children, sometimes act senselessly. So, so these things then bring question. The material development alone really can be full answer for human problem. The answer we have the mind regarding peace of mind those constructive mind, you can't buy. Even, even billionaire, you can't buy. <laughs> or very sophisticated sort of machine cannot produce peace of mind. Uh, so it's clear. So therefore, uh, in the meantime, uh, any person mentally much disturbed and the material facilities, they cannot replace of his or her mental disturbances. So therefore, uh, I really want to explore uh, another way to bring more comfortable life. That means try to increase our inner, uh, 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 try to explore, try to achieve peace of mind. So that's our uh, inner brain. So then, in the meantime, out of my own curiosity, since my childhood, I love technology and science. All these missions work. How it works. So even I, when I receive some toy, I play a short moment, then open the, what is the system, how it works, the movement, how it comes. Uh, so therefore, the iPhone technology, uh, and then, of course, uh, the modern science, I really admire. Therefore, I develop teams of desire or talk with scientists and mainly hoping new things learn from them. Then eventually uh, uh, it becomes clear that as far as inner science is concerned, the modern science still acknowledge According to modern science, about the inner values or about mind is very limited at the beginning. So therefore, uh, the explanation in ancient Indian tradition, Indian thought, including Buddhism, becomes something useful to the scientist. And as far as material thing is, matter is concerned, very, very helpful to learn from modern science and reach our concept. So it becomes mutually beneficial. So that's the main thing. Now here, I think this big gathering, I'm quite sure 
those people who from childhood familiar with compassion, I think mainly from our mother, then those people, uh, although it's the same, uh, same place, same human being, uh, but in a word, some people more in a peace, some people a short moment you forget all your problem, but as soon as reach your own home or your own office, full of anxiety, full of stress, I think. Um, so those people who have more sort of uh, inner strength, then whether here or in your office or your home, your mind still can be more peaceful. So that's make differences. It's not dependent on men, on money not dependent on power, but mainly uh, that happened due to our inner quality. So I always happy uh, this kind of meeting. I always ready to listen, uh, to educate myself from other university experts. <laughs> oh, one thing, perhaps, and one, one more. Uh, at the beginning, when I express, uh, I want to meet scientists to discuss about about different matters. And some of my friends give me warning. Modern science, anyway, killer of religious faith. So be careful. They told me like that. They expressed like that. Then I thought. And Buddhist tradition, particularly in the Sanskrit tradition, Buddha himself made clear, my follower should not accept my teaching out of faith, but rather through investigation, through experiment. So therefore, among the followers of Buddha, like Nagarjuna, many great masters really took the liberty not following Buddha's teaching out of devotion, but rather investigation. So then, through their investigation, through their analyze, they, they take some Buddha's word uh, literally, some Buddha's word rejected. So that's a scientific way of approach. So then I thought, no problem. A Buddhist, if some Buddhist concept become very clear, uh, something as a contradictory with reality, the reality which found by scientific means, then we must accept that. So therefore, many years ago, I think more than 50 years ago, one occasion in Germany, which city I can't remember. One journalist told me, now scientists decided there is no next life. So what, 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 what do you think? Then I, I responded, I don't think the scientists decide the final decision. They, they still, you see, that is the out of their uh, field about next life. So, those, I think, genuine scientists I know, they are open-minded. Tell something concrete proof there, then they accept it. Otherwise, they say, oh, we don't know. So, I heard, except that journalist, she, she has all that. Has all that. So, she has all that. I mean, she has all that. 
Steve decided the invention, the scientists now decide no next life. So I don't think it. Still, still after that, so I have met quite a number of respected, well-known scientists. Scientists, nobody decided that. <laughs> this is an open question. So like that. 